Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Dennis Stoner. Thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as the Delian League. Anyway, in the last episode we got another war going against the fridge. So we expanded our client states, Athos and Ephesos, which is pretty cool. Um, however, I did accidentally take this for myself. Um, but yeah, um, what I need to do here is definitely sell this off bit by bit, which we will do. I'll sell it off like bit by bit to this client here. Shouldn't take too long. Um, anyway, off camera I have done a few important things. So the first very very, very important thing. Um, first, I can get you guys back over here. Um, nothing to do with that, though. But anyway, the first very important thing is I have moved around some characters and bribed some people and finally got the footsteps in Solon. So we can actually finish that. Which then will bring us towards ancient traditions. We can actually go for the Athenian Republic government form, which would be great. So let's do this. So let's go the footstep in the footsteps of Solon. So, uh, we have cleared up many of the problems that had arisen between the Council and the Assembly, shoring up many of the differences and disagreements between the two, and smoothened the process of passing laws. Now we can start making the changes we need to improve our nation, just like Solon once did in ages past. Good. Cool. And now we can do this. And um, this is great. So, I need to lose 150 gold, and then over a year, I think, uh, what will happen is when we finish the mission, I will change the Republic form to Athenian Republic, I rule this reign for five years. Rules have to be 25 years to be elected and can be re-elected after 10 years. But I gained four idea slots, which is going to be great. So let's do ancient traditions. Yes. Celebration in the Dean League. We are holding a large festival to across our nation to celebrate the great strides we've taken in restoring our democracy to its former glory. Our people will remember this at the start of a new golden age for the Delian democracy and Epimenes and as another Cleistothene, whatever it is. Let the festivities blah, 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 blah. Sorry, let the festivities begin. Okay, so now let's get our men moving back to port. We'll bring them all back home. I know, I'm going to get the last military tradition here, just for the sake of finishing it off. So I've actually finished all of the traditions. What would be good if um, you actually went? Well, if you finished every single tradition and took it all, it'd be nice to get an overall bonus or something. I think it's like. I mean, the investment given time you've taken to taking all these traditions, if you finish them all, if you could like get a kind of an idea, kind of like an EU4 where you kind of fill out, um, when you adopt all the ideas or whatnot, you get a kind of a big bonus, um, be the same principle. That would be pretty cool. Just a thought. Just a thought. Anyway, let's sell you guys some of the land again. 31st of Jan, I've got to wait this time. Sell territories, just sell you these little bits of land down here. And then what will happen is, what we'll do is, once the peace treaty with uh, for the fridge goes off again, I'll try and take Cyprus. Cyprus would be cool. Just having Cyprus under our control would be fantastic. Um, hmm. 723, I'm still hoping that we'll be able to integrate this in time. Um, our officials in the province of Boesia report they've been approached by some of the petty landowners in the area with donations of grain and other fare for the use of the state. I can either gain popularity... Gain food in the province of Pamphylia. They gain loyalty, but Boeotia loses loyalty. Yeah, let's give it to Pamphylia. Why not? Why not? Epimenes, you gains content. What does that do? The Archon gains content. Loyalty, 10. Prominence, minus 10. Okay. Nothing really majorly important there. Um, so here we go. So you have another civic advances, but now there's no more invention. So you only get, like, podcasty bonus and commerce income bonus, which I feel is just kind of meh. It's like... Please, more inventions, please. You can never really have enough. Um, anyway, the festivities the festivity is completed. It's time to return to the more serious matters at hand. A democracy is not an end goal. It's only the beginning. It's something we'll have to actively work to maintain. So ancient tradition now completed. The Archon gains 15 popularity. And when I finish the mission, so it should be like now, and we change into Athenian Republic. This is going to be interesting. Let's try this out. Four military idea slots... And um, doesn't change anything to do with the nation. But it does change this. So enact law costs, that's what it is, minus 25%. So let's fill out our slots here. I'm first going to go with the, of course, the obvious national slave output, which is going to be very useful for our cash. Um, the next one I want to probably go for is... Hmm. Loyalty of generals and loyalty of admirals. Have some of that. Then we'll probably go for something else after. Well, that's cool. We have four idea slots. That's wicked. And we have now the uh, lovely Athenian Republic. That is great. That's good. It would have been better if it... I don't know. I was kind of expecting a flag change or something. Um, but anyway, uh, what can we do now? We only have two generic missions. Matter of Greece and the Pearl of Greece. Let's do the Pearl of Greece. 
Yeah, why not? We might be able to do stuff here. Um, anyway, the Mines of Boishu, we can already start that off, which gives us a uh, slave output in the mines to the end of the game, to the mines that are highlighted over here, which is good. Uh, we could also do the Fruits of Acadia, which would give us more food over here as well, to the end of the game. All that is good. We can also expand the Miner Workforce, which is already good. I get more slaves. Okay, looks like we're kind of eating through the mission already. Uh, bread and Circuses, Granary of Greece... Um, what needs to have... Argos needs to have two granary buildings. We can do that. Let's get rid of... Two of them. And I'll get two granaries instead. Okay, that can, that can easily be done. Uh, prospecting going to Boisha, only 600 gold. And I might be able to find minerals over here. Let's see what happens there. It's going to take a year. Well, let's talk about already kind of do all that. All port territories in Yeboe are cities and all ports. That I don't like, and I won't be doing that. I find that mission is really annoying. It's like forcing you to build cities where I don't want to goddamn build. So that is not going to happen. So I'm probably not going to go down this section here. We'll go down the middle section, though, which will definitely be good. But we'll, con we'll continue looking at that in a minute. Okay, I'll have our guys moved it back here? Oh, copper struck in Heraclea Trashinia. Our surveyors report finding sizable deposits of copper in the settlement of Heraclea Trishinia in Boeotia. Should we choose to continue to develop this, we'll find we make more, would make the territory export the metal in short time. If we invest in this, it means a very marked exchange to the local economy, which is currently based around the export of earthenware. Heraclea Trishinia, where is that? I need to find out where that is. Don't want to make a mistake. So, Heraclea... Well, that's down here. Currently produce earthenware, and we'll change it to base metals. Nah. Nah, I don't want base metals. No way. No, thank you. I want to keep the earthenware. For earthenware. Go to hell. Um, our armies are slowly arriving. I'm going to just quickly put you on the boat here. And we'll bring all these guys back home. They deserve to go back to their wives and children. But how many men do I have? A lot. Now, what do you want? Cassanossus, they want marble, no problem. Oh, I can actually sell you a bit more land, can't I? Let's keep it going, let's keep selling. I keep forgetting to do that. Must remember. Can I go for some tech? Let's see what we can go for here. Let's go for the wrong culture happiness quickly. Oh, part to go on mathematics, build cost is reduced. Property tax? I haven't even got that yet. Are you kidding me? Neither the logistic bureau? Wow. Um, let's take one of the tribal reserves, see what's under there. Oh, it's only tribesmen output the rest of the stuff. That is no cool. But I do have another ch import room now, which is good. What can I get? Something I don't have a surplus of. Let's get some... What would incense do? Let's get incense. Commerce value. Why not? Let's go for some incense. More commerce value equals more cash. It's only good stuff. Um, let's, how much gold do we make? 138 per month now. That's pretty insane. Okay, are you guys over there? When we, we'll get these back, we'll put them back into the rightful locations. Come on, hurry up. What the Sally want? They want wood? No, Golden be my guest. Where are you going? Oh, go here. Wrong area, man. Wrong place. Wrong place. Um, that mission is still going on. I'm going to need 1,200 gold. So we're going to have to stop. We're going to get there really quickly. Make 146 per month, for God's sake. Um, you guys are going to go there. That's fine. All right, let's pull you guys home. Now, what can I do with military experience now? Since I've got all the traditions, there's nothing I can really do. Um, the treasury of Pantorkos Kalistratid. It seems Pantorkos Kalistratid has gotten his hands on a lot of wealth, and he's starting investing a great deal of silver into building a reputation for himself. We'll quiet down in time. All time to share with us. Time to share, mate. Yep, share. Why not? Don't want you being too greedy. Even though you are a general, I don't want you being greedy. Um, anyway, let's get the troops back over here first. What do you want? Oh, they want honey. Yes, the Dacian local power of Apulia want to import honey. Now, I forgot off camera, I moved some pops around in an area over here to get a surplus of honey, which then in turn would increase the speed at which we integrate. So we gained a year on it, which is pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Oh, let's go for another idea slot. I want to go for... Loyalty of characters, maybe, maybe not. Pop conversion speed, loyalty of subject states, omen power. Let's go for the rule of pop game. Okay? The more popular we are, the easier we'll be able to do our wars. 
Okay, you guys are... Where's the Navy? Okay, there they are. They're moving. Come on, hurry up. Let's get on them back. Stop Parliament of man Manpower and then get ready to go to war again. But this time... Can I go to war against Securia? They're allied with a... Well, no way. They're allied with everybody. Um, uh, minor deposits found in Elatea. So our prospectors have sent word that they've struck some minor deposits of valuable metals in Elatea. They are not sufficient to support large-scale mining, but though their investigation itself, they have managed to secure enough of value to send to some of our coffers. 300 gold, thank you. So all we need now is the two granary buildings, which are building over here. And then once that's done, we can do that mission. Anyway, what's this one? This is the Knight Stratos. You're going to go here. Disembark. I oh, know because my navy's moving, of course. There we go. So the Ninth Stratos is going to disembark here. The Winds of Boreas is going to disembark there as well. We'll get you guys off and then we'll bring the rest home down south. Are they off? They are. So the Winds of Boreas up into Pella. The Ninth Stratos over here. And these guys are just going to disembark into Athens. There we go. That's good. I'll keep selling land here, by the way. I keep forgetting to sell this land. We need to do it. Keep selling it to them. How much do we get in tribute income now? 53.76 gold for tri from tribute income, which is great. And the good thing here now, we control the Bosporan Strait, which is wicked. And he's building a fort there to control it as well, which is not stupid in its entirety. Okay, now these guys are pretty much back home now. Um, the A... Aegis is going to go down to Sparta, Athen Athena's chosen, I'm going to put you guys in drill again, we'll get that many to experience rising, same here, and same here. That's good. Now I'm happy. Let's go for some more tech. Let's go for the... Uh, let's go for the whole giant cost, why not? Let's see what's underneath. Town criers. Yeah, we'll see next. I want to save the rest of the cash because I want to complete that mission once the granary has been built. Oh, the granary has been built. So I need just the gold now. Once we get the gold, we can do that mission. Uh, you're going to drill. That's good. You're also drilling. Yeah, all of them are drilling, which is fine. Everything's pretty much in order. You're going to sell you a bit more land. So you this here. Thank you. We'll make sure you keep growing. And let's do Granary of Greece. So provincial food capacity plus 800 till the end of the game. That is well worth it. And now we need to do expand trade. I need to do port markets. Are you kidding me? I have to do that? I really have to do port markets. I need to do Mediterranean Sea there. So I need to build, like, basically I need to get cities being built in all over here. That's a pain. In every single port. So I've got to get one there. I've got to get one there. And I've got to get one there. Oh, well, looks like we're going to be city building people. Wasn't what I intended, but looks like we're going to be doing it. Um, I'm just going to save the political influence. I'm not going to take the last idea because the bonus is not great. Um, and I do want the political influence to found cities instead. So we'll keep it to found cities. A venomous tongue. The governor of Pelagonia, who's a particularly weasel-like man. The fact making itself clear now more than ever. Do I move against him? How loyal are you? You're not loyal. You're going into jail, mate. Yeah, you're, 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 you're jailed. Screw you. And I'll put a new governor in Macedonia instead. Fort defence, slave output. Citizen output? Hell yeah, you're going to be the good man for the job. There you go. You're going to be governor, my friend. You've won. You've won the lotto. You are now officially governor. All right, so you the last little shade of land down here. We've got four more to do, and that's done. Uh, so yeah, we need to get city building, by the looks of it. So let's start off here. How much will it cost? 45 political influence and 180 gold. God, the political influence is going to be a pain. We're going to need a lot of it. Um, they want wood, no problem. We'll do that. An intriguing offer. A little-known man by the name of Artemidotos, the Asian Tyromenid, addressed the Senate recently denouncing the poor performance of Tissicrates for Lede, a key member of our government. What? So, a bold move. We need more men like this. So, what's happened? So, furthermore, the upstart Artemidotos claimed that he would have been better candidate for the role. After the address, Artemidotos is reinforced, uh, reinforced his argument with the offer of a sizable bribe. He becomes Strategos. I gained three grand. Yeah, let's make you Strategos. Are you now Strategos? Is he Strategos? Oh, must have. Did, did. 
I don't know if it is him. Is it him? I can't remember. I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> My bad. At least we got some gold though, which means we can actually spend it on maybe that's an eight cost. Try and see what's under the under under the bottom here. I have no idea what's below. Or true provincial investment cost. Yeah, why not? Divine mandate. Yeah, let's get that as well. Adventus. Yeah, hell yeah, let's just um, check the hell up. Extended diplomacy. Control range modifier. What is that? Let's get that as well anyway. Might as well. Uh, recruit general cost improve maximum opinion. Um, by the way, what is what can I get for here? Hmm. What passive ability? National commerce income would be nice. I'm gonna swap that out. Let's go for Velkanos. Yeah, let's swap that DDT out. I can put two artifacts in there as well. Put Freeman Happiness, the only two I've got. So let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. That's cool. Now we should make a little bit more money due to the passive ability of this home. National commerce income plus 18.75%. Uh, which means now we can go for... Can I change this? Is there anything good here? Global food modifiers. What about over here? No, nothing really. Um, let's go for the national pop growth then. Let's call down the omen of the um, blessing of Carmenor. Let's get a bit of pop growth going. Why not? Right, let's sell that. Okay, so we need to really think when I'm going to go to war next. Um, so when's a truce with these guys finish? Um, 7 2... No, not 7 2 7. Are you kidding me? 7 13. So I've got five more years to wait. I would like to take... Cyprus next. I really would. Um, I am going to... You know what? I'm going to sell this to... Yeah, I'm going to sell that to these guys. I don't really need it. And I don't really plan on going up there. Maybe we could go and take on Rome. I'm thinking a Roman conflict would be good. Could probably get a little bit of the uh, boot of Italy. Th uh, the boot of Italy there would be nice. Probably try and get a foothold over there. I could probably establish another client. That would be cool. I think that is what we're going to do. That is definitely the way we're going to go. Um, get a bit more manpower back up and then we'll go that way. Um, I was going to do something, but I completely forgot what I was going to do. Um, brain freeze. Brain freeze. Oh, let's go for some more inventions. Let's go for... Let's go for prove maximum opinion. Let's see what else is hiding under these layers of tech. Um, nothing. So let's go in the religious section now. See if there's anything hiding under there next. Need new... Oh, no, we need to put you on drill, don't we? Then it's winning anymore. Okay, 0.95 military experience per month, which is good. Oh, I can found a city where we... We can found a city, and I'm going to found it here. Let's found it here first. Okay, we need to found one there, then I need one here, and I need one here. I'm pretty sure that's what we need. Um, let's just double check. Mediterranean sea trade. It is... Yeah, it's that. So we're going to need to get uh, another two cities after that. And then we're going to need to build buildings in them. By the way, what buildings do we need in them? And they need to be fortified. So let's get it ready. So I'm going to fortify that one. God, I'm going to have to get rid of the mines. It's a pain. Let's fortify that one. And we'll fortify that one. There we go. So we get the forts going. Get them ready. A lofty notions. A Shios for Lady and his dreams of high office are fairly well known in the Senate of the Dedian League. But recently he's been lobbying more urgently of his suitability and deservingness for the role of magistrate. Who? You want to be magistrate? What does the Magistrate do again? He wants to be Pythanis. You are really good at your job, to be honest. And I think we're going to put you in there. I'm going to give you the job. You're very good at your job, so you're going to, you're going to do it. Um, anyway, Olympics, good, no problem, we'll have that. Who are Rome allied with? Let's double check. Who are with Carthage as well? Uh, City of Euphoric, that's good, we gain 800 gold. Why are they at war with Carthage? First Carthaginian Massiliate War. Okay, looks like Massali relied with Roman. Where are we going to go and help them? Uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Now, let's get some tech quickly. I want to go for the monthly civilization change, thank you. We'll also go for the state religion hat. Oh, I can't take that yet. Damn. We'll take that next. I'm going to get to 100... Uh, 100,000 manpower reserve. Oh no, Rome's got none left. We're going to go. Um, let's get a claim going. Do I have a claim on Rome? I don't have a claim. Let's get a claim going. 
Oh, I don't have the political influence. No. I need political influence. Um, we have a new ruler now. Artemi Dotos, the Asian Tyrannid. He's already been Archon. But he's in the Mercantile Faction, which is pretty good. Gives us some more commerce income, which I'll happily take, by the way. Making 130 gold per month, which is just way too easy. Considering the start of this campaign was incredibly freaking hard, once we got out of the rut, it's been incredibly easy. <laughs> I've got to admit. I've got to show you the last little bits of land here. There's only two pieces, two pieces left after that. And the clients are starting to get a decent amount of men. They have, they've both got 25,000. This got 26,000 men. They've got 20,000 men. These have got 36,000 men. That's just crazy. And they're going to really, 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 really piss Rome off up here because they've got a border with them, which means they're going to be able to expand. I'm going to be able to grow this client as well, which will be very interesting. So, yeah, Rome is definitely the war we're going to do. Once we get that 20 political influence, we're going to do the claim. They have no manpower left. We can destroy these guys very easily, indeed. And then we'll go back to war against the fridge. Right, sell the last little bit. One more that we've nearly done that damn thing. I don't know why I didn't transfer the capital in the previous war. I just completely forgot to do it. Another martial advance. Again, we get no more tech because we got past the level where the tech is now. There's none more given. And the salute kids, they want stone. No problem. When is the integration happened? So close. So close. Less than 20 years. Well, so close. Less than 20 years. Hopefully we can get it done in time. Okay, let's get a claim going. Right. Uh, fabricate a claim, and it's got to be on Tarentum. Yeah, it's got to be on Tarentum. That's where the claim is going. We'll get a claim there. And I want to take this and establish a client in the southern boot of Italy, which would be great. Um, some more tech. Let's go for the national pop growth. More navy morale afterwards. Yeah, it's just so much stuff we can go for. I mean, no more tech. We can just get it pretty quickly and just stop because we get everything we need. What are Egypt doing? They're not at war again. We could bring Egypt in, but I don't need to bring them in, and I'm not bringing them in. Um, flocking to the banner. The honourable people of Amathia have turned out in their drove to see the renowned general Epemnes for Lady lead his troops to greater glories. Uh, he gets five loyal troops of a random type. Right, let's see which one it is. You can do. You can have the five loyal troops, but I'm just going to take them off of you, my friend. Like that. And that. And you've got a war elephant? Are you kidding me? No. Just, no. I choose what to have. Not you. Go away. Leave me alone. And we'll sell the last little bit of land. There we go. That's done. That is cool. We've, uh, that is cool. Considering how we worked to start a tiny little, tiny thing. We have now, we are, we honestly, I'm really satisfied with the way this campaign has gone. And how long is it going to take to do the claim here? Not too long. So what I'm going to do, I am going to bring our forces down into Athens. Yeah, let's bring them down into Athens. Let's go. Bring you guys down there. Let's... Um, are they all coming down? I might just bring you guys up north. Nah, I'm not. We're going gonna, gonna to concentrate everything on the Roman mainland. We'll wipe them out that way. That's the way we're going to be dealing with these guys. We'll wipe them out that way. You guys, bring you up over here, bring you to Athens. Have they got a navy? They have got a navy, but still, I don't think it's big enough compared to our navy. I might actually increase the size of the navy here. Let's go for some more megapolerines. Another 10. Go for another 10 hexiers. There we go. We can easily maintain them. Really, not a problem at all. And we're going to war against Rome. I might not be able to do it this... I think we could start it this episode, when I'll finish it the next one. I mean, how, how long are we in the recording here? 23? 23 minutes? 24? Yeah, 24. So I might be able to get it started. Get you want to trade? No problem. When will the claim be finished? August 17th. We've got a year to wait. We can wait a year. We probably shouldn't have brought them all on Athens, to be honest. We're losing 19 per month. So I'm just going to move you guys over here. I'll spread the um, spread the impact out just until we get the claim. No, there we go. I'll spread the impact until we get the claim. So then both territories will lose a bit of food, but not really considerably a lot compared to them all being on the land at once. Get some more grain here, just to feed the pops. Uh, tech, what should I go for? Let's go for putting front roster, more navy morale recovery. Oh, national manpower plus five percent to the next one. We'll take that. Got 1,200 manpower back per month, which is a lot. 
55% claim. All is good. I'm really looking forward to this. I can't wait till when we actually go and take on Rome again. And hopefully take... I want to really take as much as we can. Probably this province, this province, this province. Maybe would be cool. Three provinces would be really nice. And then it would block Egypt's expansion. Oh, they, Egypt lost to Lockery. That's insane. And now that... No, what? They're now allied to them? I'm sure Egypt had more land here. I'm sure. Lockery must have taken it off them and allied, the, uh, and allied themselves to them. Not a bad plan. Not a bad plan. How long did we left? I think we have like... How long do we left? I think we have like 15 years left now. We're getting very, very close to the end. Very close. I just sincerely hope we're going to be able to annex this in time. I really want to. It would look cool if we had that. It really would. Um, got some more tech. Let's go for the manpower here. Thank you. Stoicism. State, religion, happiness. We can have that. Makes so much gold per month that gold is no longer a problem. Okay, let's get you guys in Athens. Oh, they're already in Athens, of course. Why did I Why did I not think they were in Athens anymore? Yeah, the Senate doesn't approve. Is it because we're not popular? No, enough. let's hold some games. Let's hold the games in s Athens. I want to hold them in Athens. Yeah, let's hold some games in Athens. Get some more popularity. Um, we have got a city now. Orios is now a city. I need 10 more political influence to get another one going. I'll build this one here next, I think. No, I need 5 more. So it's basically nothing. So I need 5 more, then we need another city there, and hopefully we can keep going down this mission section here. Because they do give you nice bonuses, like extra city building slots for the whole area. I think it's in... It's in Athens. I'll get 2 free building slots, which means more libraries. What's our tech rate? 248%. That is good. Right, let's move you guys together now. We go. Then I'll quickly embark you guys together and we're going to go and fight. We'll fight the Romans and take more land off them. I've got the claim. Oh, there we go. That was fine. Um, Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I promise you guys a war. Let's, um, let's buckle, buckle up ideas and let's go. Um, so, take Tarentum. Um, I'm not going to call in Egypt. I'm just going to call in our clients. Let's go. Gave a bit of tyranny for forcing that through, but I'm not bothered. I'm really not bothered. Okay, now let's quickly make a city. Actually, no, I'm going to get the last idea here. And I would like to go for... I don't need the army morale. Because we have the extra... Um, the military experience gives us enough extra morale. So I might go for the discipline. Let's have a look at our cohorts. What is our cohort discipline? No, wrong one, there we go. So our discipline is at a whopping plus 42%. Let's get some more discipline. Let's go for the elite soldiery. Now we have got that national bonus, which is good, but it's not a brilliant national bonus, so it's not something I was really bothered about. But anyway, let's um, let's get let's get the guys over. So put you on the boats and let's go and invade. Rome is going to go down, so we're going to go over here now. Bring you all together. Our clients up north are going to just take care of all of this. And then we're just going to march up this way and just destroy them. I could always bring them back in case my client gets beat, but I highly doubt it. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's quickly move stuff. Because, I mean, together, these guys are just going to bring a whopping amount of troops. Again, that's why clients are amazing. And I recommend them to everybody. Okay, they have quite a few men here. Where are you going? If you want to meet up, no problem. I mean, my navy's coming that way as well. Uh, veterans move on. So, uh, Delian League gets 2,000 extra manpower. That's cool. And uh, Knossos gains state and farmlands. Plus tax. 50% tax and minus unrest. That's cool. wonder where his troops are. Assos wants to trade. No problem. Come on, clients. Do your job. That's what you're here for. Uh, Filoni des Pelopid died. You were the martial researcher. That's a shame. I'll put you. Instead, we'll put Hecatios Kalistrakid. You're a good man. You can do a good job for us. Right, come on, Navy. Okay, we're here. Let's go and disembark there. Let's disembark there. Let's disembark there. And you're going to disembark there. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, people. I'm going to put these guys here to kind of control the passage. Can I catch you? No, I can't. That's a shame. Um, let's go to Torrenti. Let's move. All right, let's try and occupy as much as we can here. Let's keep moving. All our army is going to be put together. So we're going to be fine. And I'll soon kind of 
Oh, the sacking of Venturia. Uh, looting shall be gentle. I'm going to try and make this a client, so I don't want to kill it all. I'm just going to try and march all the way up north, and we'll join up with all the forces on the other side. Our clients are doing a good job there already, which is great. Keep you guys moving. Keep you guys moving up there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The, more move, the, the quicker we can do things, the better. You're going to move there. You're going to go here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the war goal, so as soon as we occupy this war goal, we're going to get the ticking war score. Um, an optional teeth. So, the head of the devout religious faction has approached us with a broad smile on his face. Without the trace, uh, without the sickly grin leaving his visage, he politely offers the support of a portion of the religious faction. Yeah, why not? I can, I can spend 200 gold on kind of bribing the religious faction. That's not a problem. Right, let's keep it moving. What are Egypt doing? They're not fighting. Um, the sacking of Barium. Again, let the looting be gentle. I don't want to kill them. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're going to move up to whatever that is. Canusium. Our Shalos, they want salt. That's our client. Of course, you may have salt people. That's not a problem. You're going to move up here. You know what? Let's go and fight the Navy. Oh, they have a lot of ships. They have a lot of ships. Can we do something? Do we have a good commander? We do have a good commander. Come on, let's go and help him. We need to help him. But we are going to spend forever getting there because we are so goddamn slow because we have a lot of ships. Have I not caught him? Ah, oh, damn. He ran off. Are you kidding me? Oh, I have caught him here, though. Uh, however, it says we would lose the fight. They have a way better commander. Can I change you? Do I have a better commander? Um, I don't really... Unless I get rid of the... No, I don't. I don't. What ships does he have? He has nowhere near as many... I think we should be fine. We have more morale. Is there anything we could get for... Let's get the ship damage done. Let's get half axe quickly. That should help. Yeah, we should be fine. I'm going to give it a go. I mean, we've got a navy. Might as well just use it. We might as well use it and give it a try. You're going there, you're going here, you're going there. Let's keep it moving. Oh, okay, we've caught them. And I think it's going to be a bloodbath. I should have probably changed tactic, really. I don't really pay attention to naval tactics. I should really pay attention. But it seems to be going okay for the moment. Doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. And we are capturing some ships as well, so why not? I know what are you doing? You're going to go here. A voice behind bars. So it would seem that Sosistratos Kalistratid, despite his incarceration, has managed to spread some particularly vile rumours uh, about the proclivities of Artemidotos, the Asian Tyrannid. Make sure this disappears. Get a bit of tyranny, but your body shall never be found. Okay, this is going to be pretty decisive naval battle, I think. They're going to come and reinforce, hopefully, but we don't even need them. But if they do, it would be good. And we're going to go here. That's been taken. You're going to move here. That's fine. Let's keep it all. Let's keep the well-oiled machine rolling. Occupy the lands around the borders of Egypt in case Egypt decides it's a good time to declare war and try and take what we want to take. And I don't want that to happen. Um, okay, we won there pretty easily. I'm going to dock you guys in the port here to repair some of the ships because obviously some of them are pretty beat up. I would think. Yeah, a few of them are pretty badly beat up. So we're going to go and repair the ship. Actually... Actually, there is a few... Can we knock these guys out? There's a 15k Etrurian stack here. They've been caught. They've been caught. Let's go and help him out. Doesn't matter if I lose some ships, I just want to knock him out. That, that means they would lose 15,000 men, which would help us. It would help us. There we go. Oh, it's a shame we didn't sink them, though. We didn't sink them all. That's a shame. Oh, well. We pushed them back a bit, which is more, which is good for me. Okay, we can get another city. I completely forgot. Let's get the city over here now. Let's build the city there. Thank you. Then we need one more here. So I need 45 political influence, and we can get it done. Right, come on. Let's keep the keep it rolling. Come on, people. Let's go to Pompeii now. Let's get it, get it, get it. We're going to move here. I don't know where the Roman forces are. They're probably all trying to fight my client. Yeah, they're trying to fight my clients. Yeah, they're fighting the clients. Hopefully the clients can take care of them. I don't know why Ephesos is attached to me. But, yeah, it is what it is. Let's split you guys up there. We're going to take this fort here. And you're going to go and take that fort there. You're going to move up to Booker. And we'll go one, two groups on the right side and the other group on the left side. And we'll kind of meet up there. 
You know what? I could probably hire some mercs, which I'm going to do, to be honest. Um, let's hire one with a good general. No, you're crap. You're pretty good. Let's hire you. We're going to hire you, my friend. We're going to reorganise you, move you to the borders, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go and help out the clients with the mercs up here, because they seem to be slightly... Oh, we're going to hire you as well. Yeah, let's hire you. We'll hire them as well. That's pretty good. We'll hire the double the mercs. These guys are going to go and help, because we're going to need to help them up there. They are being slightly overrun, because they are concentrating all their forces on this side, so hopefully with the mercs we can go and help them out. Uh, where are you going? You're going to cap you here. Actually, going to Neapolis. There's a fort that's trying to be built there. It's quickly going to get it before they actually build the fort. I didn't notice they're actually doing one. Uh, they are slowly coming down the side there. Yeah, we do need to help these guys out. Good job, the merc. We'll get the mercs and they'll help. Okay, that's been taken. Let's move here now. We'll keep it all moving. What are you done? You're taking the Apolis. Let's go to... Let's go there and then we'll go to Capua. We'll just kind of slowly move up. Got the whole southern boot. Um, a petitioner approaches. So a strapping young adult by the name of Pukestas to Romanid has approached our Archon in private this morning. Basically scared of dying. Let's take the stability and the loyalty. I don't need the money. We have so much money anyway, so... It's not really something we need. Right, what we're going to do here. There's a 32k stack here I want to wipe off the face of the earth. And that's what we're going to go and do first. So let's go out there. Let's actually bring you guys together. And we'll try and wipe them out bit by bit. Okay, the siege there has been won. That was pretty damn easy. Um, let's go on Rome then. Let's move it up the Rome. Might as well. Uh, but I am going to end the episode here, guys. I don't like ending it in the middle of a war, but if I continue, the episode will go on forever. Um, anyway, what we'll do in the next one, we'll continue trying to take on Rome. We'll take as much as we can off them, and then we'll kind of double back, go back home, and get ready for war against the fridge. Uh, all while trying to complete the missions over here, so we can actually complete the um, Pearl of Greece mission. Which will be quite nice to finish, get a little bit of extra bonuses and stuff. But anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more great Imperator Room content, also consider to, to um, consider sorry subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thanks again for joining me, people. And I will hopefully catch you all in the next one. Later, fellas.